You know, I think that she has improved and I think she's wrestling girls who don't want to wrestle as opposed to me. I hope she tried to take me down because I'm going to snatch that neck up real quick. Mostly I wrestled okay, okay. boys when I was younger. No. I was so aggressive growing up. My mom's like, yeah, she, I think wrestling's her thing. <laughs> she is probably one of the most athletic and hard-hitting chicks I've ever trained. Over Jessica Andrade. Yes. Is that a is that a Tatiana Suarez guillotine or is that a little patchy mix flavor in there? But I didn't it was so tight and I was already around the neck that I didn't have to do that and then I have a really tight squeeze. Tatiana is the number three ranked women's bantamweight in the Straw world. Weight. Straw weight in the world, of course. <laughs> Wei Li is the champ of the weight class. It's okay, because you just... You're, you're so you, tall. You interviewed Pat, so that's why you got yeah, the bantamweight Yeah, I'm thinking weight. bantamweight. It's okay, it's okay. You can fight we these are bantamweights. One. <laughs> <laughs> you can fight these bantamweights. She's the biggest uh, straw weight, right? Yeah. In, in, the, in the world. I mean, you're... Uh, how the hell do you make weight? Um, I don't know. I diet. <laughs> very disciplined. Got you. Got yeah, you. Mm -hmm. You're Must very. Must be the Virgo rising. Very <laughs> you're very tall, and I saw I your tall. striking and mm -hmm. how long you are with your shots and the mm -hmm. speed you're carrying. Yeah. Do you feel you're getting your striking improving at a high rate? Because I see you evolving before my eyes. Yeah. So I think um, I've always pretty been. I've been decent at striking for a while. I think I just don't show it too much in my fights because I'm so, I, I mean, I go the path of least resistance. So that's my wrestling, my grappling. I know that I can get someone down. I know that I can beat them on the ground. So I tend to go that way. But if I'm forced to strike, then I can strike, you know? Mm. So, um, but yeah, I think that more so I'm just learning, like the years that I had off was kind of, you know, um, it sucked because I, I didn't have the chance to spar. That's how you learn, you know, things that work for you, patterns that work for you. And um, I wasn't able to do that for mm -hmm. a little bit. So now, since I've been able to um, be in camp and have multiple camps in a row, I've had the opportunity to spar more. So it's all coming back. And I feel like the timing's coming along. The technique's always been there, but more so the timing, the setups, um, things like that. Geez, you were looking fast on the pads. Um, yeah, talk to me about becoming an MMA fighter like you are. I mean, you hit this nasty guillotine mm -hmm. over Jessica Andrade. Yeah. Is, that a, is that a Tatiana Suarez guillotine or is that a little patchy mix flavor in there? I think um, he did uh, inspire me because he does the, the ones without, he'll go ahead and he'll grab his own hand and he'll push it inside their throat. He calls it a prayer joke. And I try to do like a variation of it. I was like pulling my hand up. As soon as I got like, say for instance, I had my hand up and I was able to expose my thing, I would have just like done this like, like he does. But I didn't, it was so tight and I was already around the neck that I didn't have to do that. And then I have a really tight squeeze. I've always been pretty decent at like any type of neck choke because I wrestled my whole life and mm -hmm. like I did a lot of front headlocks when mm -hmm. I was a wrestler. So even even when I was really young, like 12 years old, I remember I hit my first gator roll and I uh, choked this kid out with it. And they were like, does that mean she wins or <laughs> do we stop it? We don't really know because there's no chokes in wrestling, you know, right. it's just like a pin. And the kid was tapping out. I'm like, hmm. So when I made the transition to, you know, I'm a man, jujitsu and stuff like that, I was like, hmm, it's pretty innate for me to like choke somebody. You say kid, was this a male or female? He was a, was a boy. Mostly <laughs> okay, I wrestled okay. boys when I was younger. Gotcha. So like, I didn't start wrestling women until maybe like in high school. Oh my but gosh. Up until then, yeah, I wrestled all boys. Being the boy, you got your parents there and then Tatiana walks out and chokes you unconscious in a wrestling match. 
It's a bad day. It's a bad day. I don't know why. I just, I really loved, I was so aggressive growing up. My mom's like, yeah, she, I think wrestling's her thing. Because you know? I did all types of sports. I mean, she had me in like football. She had me in like this dance, like Mexican dancing. She had me in volleyball, soccer. I mean, every sport you can think of, she had me do. So I did them all, but I chose wrestling. I always hear of your wrestling accolades and people are so impressed with it, but can you give me the elevator pitch? Like what, what accolades do you have in wrestling and like how does that help you as an MMA fighter? Um, I feel like it helps me because I've been competing forever. So yeah. like whenever I go out there, I don't really feel too, like I don't feel the nerves, I don't feel the pressure of having to compete in front of people because I've been doing it forever. Um, in fact, like because I was the only girl, I would get a lot more spectators, you know what I mean? People would want to come see the only girl at the tournament wrestling, mm -hmm. and especially because I was facing boys, so it made it interesting, you know, something that they really wanted to see. So, um, I mean, there would be times where, like, it would be such a great match that people, it would be like people all around the mat just watching my match, and there's a whole other tournament going on, I'm like, we just really wanted to see the girl wrestle, you nice. know. So, <laughs> so I think it prepared me for the the pressure of you know people watching me, things like that. Um, and um, I think also you know I'm problem solving and learning what works for me. I've been doing that from a young age too, you know. So I think it's carried on over to MMA. Yeah, that's very clear. You're you're very clearly a seasoned competitor. You go out there and go full speed. Yeah. All right, so now you're ranked number three. Yeah. I see above you they've got um, Jan Shaunan and yeah. Carla Esparza. Yeah. What do you think about these uh, opponents, potential future opponents, these girls who you might be fighting one day? I mean, I think it's, um, I think I'd match up well with both of them. I already fought Carla and I wanted to fight Jan. Um, that it didn't end up happening, but um, you know, hopefully, you know, well, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna have to fight someone be like a be below me mm -hmm. in rankings, or yeah, below me in rankings as opposed to like forward. So that kind of sucks. But either way, I mean, I think one more win should get me a title shot. You know, I thought. Either I was gonna get the title shot, or I was gonna, and I was willing to fight Jan for you know that title eliminator. But I, don't, I think her, they said that her team wasn't interested in the fight, so they kind of I don't know. It was a really weird thing, but I don't know who would be interested in a fight with you right now. <laughs> I mean, once you have the belt, right, everybody will be heading towards you. Right. But you're one of those where I don't think they want the smoke at this point in your career. So are yeah, you I having think, trouble finding a fight? Um, I well, I mean, I wanted to fight her, and then that was. Pretty much it and then usually people behind you don't really want to fight like you know what I mean unless they're really like up there already so um, I haven't I mean everybody was kind of matched up that's what kind of sucks about the weight is once you get to that top and yeah. everybody matches up and you're already there mm. like in title and eliminator kind of thing or mm, it's hard to find a fight you know just because of that you know, some people, when they get there, they're like, oh, I don't want to risk it by fighting, you know, Tatiana or whatever it may be. Or you have someone like, for instance, like, I guess, um, like someone who lost, maybe won again, but they're in the top eight or whatever, usually want to fight me, but they already am not all matched up. So we'll see. I see something coming soon, hopefully. <laughs> all right. You, maybe you know something we don't? No. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, you're hoping I'm look I'm like waiting to see if they call me soon I see I was hoping to you know fight before my birthday but I don't think that's gonna happen oh and when is your birthday December 19th December so I was hoping 19th. to be on the 16th that's card right. they have a really big card here at T-Mobile Arena so the <laughs> champion of your weight class is very impressive yeah uh, the, 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 the best the best Chinese fighter I've ever seen yeah. male or female oh, yeah. uh, it, tremendous sure. wrestling uh, her striking's explosive yeah how would you approach a potential future fight with the world champion oh I think that um, you know I think that her wrestling's o okay but I don't think it's as good as mine you know I think that she is improved and I think she's wrestling girls who don't know how to wrestle as opposed to me. I hope she tried to take me down because I'm going to snatch that neck up real quick. Damn, Tatiana. I'm very confident in that as well. Like, Damn. I'm very confident in that. So when, cause I can she... actually see myself jumping for a guillotine in midair, just choking her. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think if she does put her head in the hole, she's, she's going to have a, lot, a long night. And not only that, but when I get into scrambles, no one's better than me. I mean, nobody. 
she will not beat me in the grappling department. Like scrambling wise, I flourish there. So if she wants to wrestle me, that's where, you know, usually I have more so struggle with people that are anti-wrestlers mm. as opposed to people who want to wrestle me. Mm. Like once you start wrestling me, that's when you put yourself in a lot of danger with me because mm. like I'll create scrambles and I'll submit you real quick with any type of neck, neck choke or anything like that. So I think that I could definitely put her away. Because she's been shooting nonstop. She did some training with Henry Cejudo, mm -hmm. and it seems, and Eric Albarison, shout out to Captain Eric. I'm not forgetting about you. <laughs> he, needs, he needs his love. And it just seems like she's fallen in love with it. It yeah. seems like it's a natural part of her style now. She yeah. uses her striking just to pretty much set up these takedowns. Right. You think that she won't be able to help herself but shoot no, on you. No, I think seem she, I think, you know, I think um, she wants to do more wrestling, which, I, that's a good thing, you know, she's evolving in that sense, but I just think that I've been doing it for a long time and um, I think I'm a lot better in it than she is. Like, she'll be very surprised. And, you know, I think uh, as she saw me uh, grapple one day and uh, she came to Extreme and I know she was probably walking, watching very closely. <laughs> you let the champ come spy on you? I don't mind. You could know what I do, that doesn't mean you're going to stop it. What was she doing at Extreme Couture? Oh, she was just watching. She literally came some popcorn, like the yeah. Michael Jackson gif, mm -hmm. and just, just sat there and watched you yeah. train. Whoa. Okay. I made sure to get up as many times as I could. <laughs> <laughs> and she's a great striker, so there's just one more aspect of the game I want to talk to you about, which yeah. is striking with Wei Li. What yeah. if she uses the defensive wrestling and decides to get in that deep stance and sort of do some Muay Thai with you? How would you yeah. approach a five-round fight with Wei Li if she wants I to kick I think that that's fine, too. I think that I'm much longer than Wei Li. Mm -hmm. I have long-range tools. Um, I think she'd also be very surprised at how I've evolved and how good I am at stand-up and quick you know, quick um, in the stand-up department. Um, I think a lot of, uh, when I've gotten in the ring with every person that I've ever gone against, I've never felt slower than the person that I was going against. And that feels good, you know what I mean? Because like, it's worrisome when someone's a little faster than you, you're mm -hmm. like, oh man, this might be a long night, you mm -hmm. know? But I've never felt, fa like I've never felt slower than anybody in there, especially on the feet. I have really good footwork and um, I'm pretty quick. So I think like I'll, I'll be fine on my feet too. Mm -hmm. Is this fight inevitable? I think it, sh I mean, man, I was hoping it was going to be, you know, by the end of the year, but that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Patchy Mix went and got his million dollars in, in, in the tournament and in, in the other right. organization yeah. that won't be named at the UFC PI, I, I've, I've been told. So uh, well, I, will, <laughs> I won't even say it. The elephant in the room, I won't even say it. But yeah. uh, you know what? I think you're a future millionaire as well, Tatiana. It seems like the sky is the limit yeah, for you. Yeah, hopefully I get some pay-per-view buys. That, that pay just goes whoosh. Buy the pay-per-view, folks. <laughs> Tatiana, you have such good energy. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. My last question for you, oh. I ask everybody. Bill Gates said that people overestimate, that overestimate what they can do in one year and they underestimate what they can do in 10 years. What does Tatiana Suarez accomplish in 10 years? Oh, man. I mean, I could accomplish a lot in 10 years. I mean, I'll be a millionaire, a champion, multi multiple title defenses. I mean, shoot, if I want kids, I should be a mom by then because that means I'm definitely an old, old, old mom, ancient. I'm just going to hire a surrogate. It is what it is. But yeah, so I'll be, I'll be a millionaire for sure, multi-millionaire. It seems the money is the focus. I was thinking you were going to say two titles. Do you want to do the McGregor well, thing? Well, I'm saying I'll be a millionaire because I'll, I'll, I'll be a little champion. Right. I'll have multiple you know, title defenses. Yep. So that means I'll be, well, I started with that. I started with, uh, would, would, would you ever move up? Yeah. I mean, I can, I mean, I'm definitely tall enough, you know, and then, um, strong enough. So I think I can, you know, shoot, maybe I'll even go up to 135. There you go. I said Bantamweight in the beginning. Now she's got it on her mind. Ladies and gentlemen, the nicest woman in the UFC, Tatiana <laughs> nice. Suarez. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you.